morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. Is it? I don't know. Anyway. Right. You're going to be catchy within the first year. No, but this. Um, I think this is just for me. My members. I've got my handle on today, so I can put it at arm's length, and, and it's not raining, so I don't have to hold the umbrella. Um, we have a bit of a tip off that Asda may or may not have some Indiana Jones matchbox airplanes. Um, so we're going to go see if they've got any. Um, morning. Morning. Um, I was. I saw them yesterday, and I've not really been out. Uh, so I thought I'd wait till today. Might be a mistake, but we'll see. So yeah, I just thought we'd have a little chat. Uh, members, members, chat. I put. Um, oh, so I went to Mall yesterday, and I've done did a video going to the charity shops there as well. But I'm putting that out. Right, let's go go over the grass and dog dog pull all of them. Anyway, not what you want to <laughs> talk about, is it? Right, so you can see it's not too bad today, better than it was yesterday. It's a little bit windy. But not here for the forecast, weather forecast. Um, so I had last week off sort of we did the auction on Friday, which is a bit of an emergency auction. Um, I got that mad ball set, which was pretty good. I saw, <laughs> I was going to, well, I did turn the mad ball down with me to the toy fair, but I'd already sold it. I was sat in Cosmic Toys and uh, it was sold while I was in there. So, that was a bit of a wasted journey for the mad ball. But yeah, that went. Um, I paid £32 for the job lot. I got £45 for the man ball by itself. Um, so I've got the two Terminator figures, um, the two Matchbox joint poppers, I think they're called, from 1990. Never heard of them. Apparently, they're quite rare. So that was good. Uh, a couple of the uh, venture people, which I'll probably keep, they're not in great condition, probably keep those. And um, all the Dungeons and Dragons LG and Advanced Dungeons and Dragons figure, which goes for about, what, £15. So put those up on the eBay page. My few watches, my few watches. Um, done a done a um, Sky Striker review and built it, put it up. Give the uh, the canopy a bit of a, a bit of a clean with my plastic cleaner, so it looks a bit better. Now the only thing missing on that is the uh, the wheel um, flap. Apart from that. Everything's there, even, even the parachute. It's not in the best condition, but it's there. It is there. So, that review will be up tonight. This is Wednesday. That'll be up tonight. And that is, uh, that's up on eBay as well. Um, I put it up yesterday, last night. And I've got three watches on it already. I think. There's a five. There might be four, five this morning. There were three last night straight away. And five. Five this morning? Yeah. Anyway. So you can go check those out. Obviously you know, you probably know. Follow me on eBay anyway. So yeah, we're just going to go for a walk to the Esther. See what they've got in there. We'll have a look at the toys anyway, but uh, I'm going to go straight to the Matchbox 
section, Hot Wheels, Matchbox section. It's all the same company these days, isn't it? And uh, hopefully pick up those Indiana Jones planes. Um, you might see that Mario, Mario, cracking lad, um, gifted me a. Uh, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Gifted me a Paul Freeman autograph picture. <laughs> I was blown away by it. He gifted me the the annual, but and I have since not even thinking about it since um, bought the Belloc Melloway. So I then put two and two together. It took me a while. It's my age and. Um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try and get a case to put the autograph in and the figure with the box and the mailway box. A GW. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, GW. They'll do a, uh, a case where you can put. The box, the figure, and like the you know like the railways with the leaflets for the Star Wars. But if I got one of those, they're twenty six pound. I got one of those, and um, the the picture would be on its side. So not ideal, but it would it would look quite nice, I suppose. And um, so that'd be thirty pound with back VAT and shipping and all that lot. But I always go to GW acrylic first and then we'll look at other places I think. I'll ask him. I'll ask Christian if he's uh, if he's got anything planned or he's gonna like to do a bespoke case but I was talking to Mr Lobot last night and uh, he told me he, our selection figures doing cases as well. So we'll see. I'll have a look. I don't know if they'll do anything like that, but you never know. You never know. Right, so you can see we're at the Asda. The Asda. The Asda. The Asda. This guy in this guy in the, in the car in his he's in a McDonald's. So like, yeah, McDonald's. I'm gonna have a look. Got my food yesterday, so I don't really need to, but tempted. I won't tell you where I might do. We'll see. So let's get in. Let's get looking for these Indiana Jones matchbox plants. Woohoo! Yeah, um, I talked about it in my other video. But yeah, but having trouble with the focus then. But apparently with the Lumix, a lot of people have uh, issues with the focusing. Try to keep it steady as well. Steady as I can, I'm sorry. Uh, but um, I've taken it. I've taken it off 4K. I've taken it off 4K. What well, couldn't I go? And I've put it on full HD. Let's get down. Here. I put it on full HD so the camera's not working I'm getting it to 4k it's working more than the focusing it's stupid I know um, can't see anything I hope I haven't come in in vain I be, won't be very happy um, I'm assuming there's Majorette it's hot wheels there uh, there's a Batman, Batmobile, different Batmobile look, all these Beatles things coming out, where's all the matchbox? So yeah, not like there's any matchbox whatsoever, well, I did say it was Asta, so I'm honest with you, I, don't, I can't remember ever seeing any, and it's funny, I was in Morrison yesterday, I didn't even look down the toilet because it's, it's always so crap, it'll be... It'll be... Just 
just my luck that they would have had um, them there. But no, I can't see any, unfortunately. Come all that way. Oh, a bit of a bust. Anyway, let's go around to have a look. Have a look. Oh, there go. They might be on an end, I don't know. I doubt it. Uh, yeah, that goes down here. Oh, hang on, I've got some more stuff here. Uh, oh, I've got some. I've got the Batman bills here. And the Batman bills. Nine pound. They were never twelve pound. Never twelve pound. Let's see if we can brighten that up a bit. Um, yeah, they've gone now. So you, all those twenty-five pound Lego sets have gone. Should we got one? Oh no. Never mind. Oh no. Oh. He's got some new ones in there. Yes, sir. Uh, I work. have a hunt around. But, looks like we're shit out of luck. If anybody can find me those Indiana Jones planes, please let me know. Try and get hold of me. And, uh, I think I made sure I've got Hot Wheels. There's no matchbox. to go online to see if I can find them unfortunately I'm going to be paying them off but yes get in touch with me if you, if you see any and uh, let me know I will uh, pay you the money cash monies now let's go down the uh, the comics aisle see what we've got down here I'm a bit gutted at that. Oh, there's a Chewie in the Star Wars. That's pretty cool. Um, football. Stickers. Oh, there's those Mario's. Oh, no. The Sonic, sorry. Sonic ones. They've moved them over here. I thought they'd gone, but they're all over there. But, yeah. Um, how many new books? How many Taylor Swift magazines do you need? My God. Doctor Who magazine there. We've got the White Dwarf, we've got the that we've got the, the War Games Illustrated magazine. I know those go for quite a bit of money actually. Let's have a look at that. They see a ghost is still there. But Dungeons and Dragons. Oh look, you've got a, you've got some dice, but you've got a case to put in this time. Right, so War Games Illustrated, what we got in here? Is there any rocks drift? People. <laughs> no, they've got machine guns and they've got. No, that's a shame. Five ninety nine. Uh, they're not as good as the ones I've seen before. Yeah, all right though. It's a nice little free gift, isn't it? It's like what you used to get in the conflict boxes. I think they're all the same. I don't even know what they are. It looks like modern infantry to me. Yeah, there's something more hysterical, but uh, there we go, look, oh look, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, there's one down there. Oh, Jesus, right. Top jumps. Yeah, no, nothing then. It should be cream. Mm. Krispy Kreme don't do the uh, peanut butter and jam anymore. 
I think they do have a limited time. They were gorgeous. But, yeah. I've just got a hamburger and some chips. £2.88. I'm a tight bugger, I know. Yeah, but... Some of the burgers are just like £5 each. See if... I feel a bit having to lighten it. Uh, there we go. Might have to... Back in a bit now. <laughs> We're in the light. But yeah. That was a bit disappointing. I was really disappointed, unfortunately. Um, they weren't they? He, he, he got me out, got me walking. And I'd just been laid there, doing videos. Like this! Um, so, I'm gonna get, try and get this back. Uh, try and keep it warm. Three, put it under the hand. No. Um, so what? Put it in in my pocket now, can It's right. It's keeping me handy, I'll keep it warm. Well, you know, it doesn't take long. Cheers, mate! Did not stop. Did not stop. But I'm an ignorant, ignorant old man. Not me, him. Um, right, so... Whew. I, do, I think I do these waffles just to, for me, for something to do. <laughs> so walk along. So I'll be honest with you. I'm using you. Oh, it's starting to rain as well now. So we need to get home quickly. Um, oh, I think people park really well, don't they? Ooh, don't touch my car here, but I park it so stupidly. Anyway, anyway. Right. Sweet charms. That's carrying me. Boiger. So yeah, I just got a normal hamburger. I don't like Big Macs, but they're simply not big anymore, are they? Um, there's a, a double quarter pounder. That was five pound by itself. Can we get across this road? No, we can't, because he's speeding like a dick head. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that old bus. I don't know if it's an old bus, I've probably seen it, isn't it? It's not that old. It's not like when you have double deckers, is it? But, you know, that's, a, that's not old to me, but, you know, might be some people. Anyway, you love me waffles, don't you? You love me waffling on. I just. I think I've run out of things to say, to be honest with you. In milk, brilliant! Oh, I tell you what. I need to, uh, I need to sort myself out. Do more of these, actually. Not daily ones. <laughs> that would kill me. Um, get out more. I mean, when the weather gets a bit better, I keep saying that. But when it does get a bit, bit, bit better, I'll obviously be doing videos on my history channel and I am doing a, a thing about the local markets at the moment and that's doing really well I think I'm like 200 watch hours away from monetization I've got 600 subscribers over there now so I've got the subscribers now thank you if you are subscribed to the history channel I think it's a different demographic than um, what's over. Not that much different, I don't think. But different enough. Because uh, it's kind of a local history thing, but it's, I don't go around other places as well. And if you've got any history you can, you'd like me to look at, let me know. But the market thing is more of a auditing thing. Yeah, yeah, we don't. I tell you what, no, you know I watch Charlie Beach. I think he's really good. He's, the stuff he does is very dangerous. There's a lot of people after him. For, for no reason, really. Um, and 
I started watching Ernest in Britain because he did a video the other day the Coptimus Prime and the Hobbit go watch that that's a fantastic video um, where he's wrongfully in my opinion searched by the police they knew who he was they knew he was an auditor I mean I don't stick up for auditors much um, well I don't like I don't mind the auditors it's the ones that do it on well, they all do it on purpose I know I mean the more hassle you get the more views you get which I know a lot um, I never want to get to that level where I'm doing that I don't want to search for the for the hassle I don't like hassle <laughs> but I couldn't stand by to do it but they he was just looking in the police cars it was not actually on police grounds as long as you don't go on private ground public ground you can do what you want more or less but with the odyssey with the drones they are they're using it they're using the drones and making drones look bad which again I need to start getting my drone out and when the weather base gets better I'll get the drone out and we'll use that a bit more this year um, I'm going to Markham in June I've got a video to do down there so I'll be taking that down there I think this time um, so yeah auditing gets me right if these companies right the police, the police aren't, aren't as bad unless you really provoke them the police are quite savvy to the auditors and it's these companies every, every time they watch a video there's always a guy what are you doing? blah 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 got a uniform probably security <laughs> it's got a badge, it's got a uniform say no more and they provoke some kind of response and then you know just to get his views but in every group there's always one that knows what's going on recognises it is calm very cool and kind of ruins it <laughs> but yeah if companies are a bit more savvy yeah I understand like a police don't film a police station don't film a security building don't don't film um, what else um, anything you know like a military installation or something you know that security is going to crack down here I saw one artist in Britain that was at Warner Brothers the Warner Brothers studio and it wasn't even on the st it wasn't even on the grounds and they all came up to him which yeah but that's borderline I think it's not like you know. I mean I can understand in one way that to go to I get suspicious of people and ask them what they're doing blah 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 but just me if you're just a normal company and you see something with a camera why why go ask them what they're doing why make the video more popular it just it just beggars belief really does but yeah these uh, audits of markets I think I'm not looking for any grief um, I tell you what having the camera gets you more noticed as well as opposed to just filming with your phone filming with a special little gimbal little shocking camera I've got nobody notices well you've got a camera I think that causes more hassle Anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go have my burger. Thank you for watching. Total waste of time. But, you know, these things happen. That's always with you.